select band of cinemas around the country there's not many of them and um, not, other, not many of them are the same high spec as this but that combine the beauty of the old with the almost imperceptible uh, additions of the very very modern they've done it with such taste the colors they've chosen for all the walls and the way that they've reused materials within areas like an old back wall has been used as the dado rail for the bar um, and just the idea of sitting in seats as comfortable as this, without the smell of sausages in the foyer, without the popcorn rustling behind you, and yet within a kind of a, a shared format. The sound system, uh, we're going to be meeting and hearing from some of the people who've made this building look the way it does tonight. There's so many memories here, so many stories. I used to come here as a, as a small boy, watched loads of films here. Um, I remember particularly, I've never been a smoker, and I remember the ashtrays in the back of the seats, these little cup ashtrays, and they were always so horrible and stinky. And if you kick them by mistake, you'd either really kill your knee, or you'd knock out all those horrible butt ends and fag, fag ash onto your body somewhere. Um, that was the downside of it. And first of all, uh, we have to say, let's hear it for uh, two people who have made this uh, event happen. It's changed so much now. It's just a beacon of hope. For the future, I look at what they've done here, and I just think I hope other people are inspired in this town, in this street, around the country to save old buildings, to rejuvenate them, and and to celebrate their history. And tell me, the average age of the audience is going to be 89. 89. Normally, there's a clock. You're worried about dying in front of the audience tonight. <laughs> I remember coming here once to see a double bill of Star Wars and The Empire Strikes Back. It was a date. Needless to say, the relationship didn't last very long. But it was a really, really, really hot day in the summer. And I remember the girl I was with, who's actually here tonight, weirdly, and we were just so hot because of the heat of the night and the heat of the cinema and the heat between us. Yeah, that was one of my lasting memories, is sweating in the uh, full flush of young love. Upstairs, always upstairs. That's true. Why do you never see an area set aside for it in your local gym? <laughs> We've seen the refurbishment at all its stages, and it's just been breathtaking. The amount of work that's been put into this place. I said it tonight on stage, it's literally been inch by inch. Every bit of wall, every bit of ceiling has been touched, has been rejuvenated. Um, it's extraordinary. No, uh, I was going to say no expense. Expense has been spared. They've been so good at cutting costs, at reusing things, using local people, local tradesmen, volunteers. But they haven't skimped on attention to detail anywhere. They've reused so much of the original stuff. I know they told me they had somebody who was a brass expert who took off all the brass fittings off the doors, off the rails here, off the handles, the radiators, and who stripped all the paint off the brass and polished the brass up and it just looks so fantastic and new. But it's the sort of thing people ne wouldn't necessarily know, but that's the attention to detail that they've, uh, that they've indulged in. It's, it's just a wonderful, wonderful process. It is just the most amazing job. This place was dripping, it was damp, it was full of pigeons, but it was also full of memories and dripping with affection from the local people. And it could so easily have just gone to, to nothing, to dust. And uh, it's been brought back to life beautifully. Absolutely stunning. 
it's like an elderly relative this of the town that's been given CPR. And the heart is beating again. It's a unique place and I hope that it will become a destination cinema. That people won't just come here from Evesham, but they'll come from miles away, as they do to the cinema, I believe, in Tring. I wonder who runs that. I hope people really use this building in every way. Um, all the ways it's been designed for, in terms of seeing brilliant films here, and in terms of using all the other facilities. Uh, whether it's for exhibiting art or for conferences or just to come and have somewhere to meet like-minded people. There's been nothing like this in this town, really, uh, ever. And I just think it's going to bring people out already. Someone said to me today that their street suddenly came out en masse to go to Chum's Club this afternoon and they met neighbours they'd never met before because they had somewhere to go. We won't get around to these thingies. Euthanasia, people ask, when are you going to sort out this uh, troublesome issue? I'd say to those people, we will sort it out. It, it really thrills me as well to think that one of the reasons for hopefully the regeneration, not just this building, but of the whole street, which we hope will follow in terms of audiences coming and needing to be sustained and fed and wanting to go places after they've been here, it thrills me that it's all to do with the arts. And I think politicians and town councils still underestimate the importance of the arts and what it brings to us in our spirits and to other people's pockets. And you know, they talk about antisocial behaviour. The best way to counter that is through social behaviour. And if anything encourages social behaviour, it's this place. I hope it succeeds. I believe it will succeed. And I wish it every success with a J2O with a straw in it.